Okay, I'm going to go over a Hog Hilton day two with y'all. All right. So we're taking our Hog Hilton activity and we're going to apply it forward onto the periodic table and atomic structure. Okay. This activity represents electron orbitals and electron cloud. Here's some basic information about the electron cloud. All right. The electron cloud is made up of seven principal energy levels. Each of these principal energy levels contain one or more of the following sublevels. S, P, D, and F. And either we've already marked your periodic table or we're going to mark your periodic table with these. Each sublevel contains a specific amount of orbitals. S has 1, P has 3, D has 5, F has 7. Orbitals are where the electrons are located and each orbital holds up to two electrons. There are three main rules on how electrons are arranged in the electron cloud. Rule number one, the alpha valve principle means to build up. Electrons enter orbitals with the lowest energy first. Pauli's exclusion principle, only two electrons in each orbital and they spin in opposite directions. We always place arrows first, then down arrows. Hund's rule, if you have orbitals of equal energy, one electron will go into each orbital before it partners up. So hopefully you notice these rules are similar to what we are we're working with with Hog Gilton. This is our hotel. Okay. And I'll point you down to this little image I have in here. All right. We're going to be writing these out eventually. This is going to indicate our energy level, our sublevel, and the orbital. And so I'll show you how all this works. All right. So compare this Hog Hilton, what are the two similarities and differences? We're still using arrows. We limit two per room, opposite directions, and start at level one. The difference, one is a hog, the other is an electron. To go between floors on the Hog Hilton, did the hogs need to use up energy? Absolutely. It takes energy to move up to no level. That's why they always wanted to go into lowest. Would electrons need to use energy to go between orbitals? Absolutely. It takes energy to go between orbitals. If only half the energy necessary to go between the 1s and 2s orbital was available, will electron go up to the 2s orbital? No. Not enough energy to move up to the next level. If you had to give a hog their configuration for finding their room, what would you write? Example, if you had a hog whose room was on the seventh floor at three rooms down. So you might say, up seven rows, up seven floors, three rooms down. All right. So this time, instead of saying I have hogs, I say that I have electrons. In this case, I have three electrons. And as we did before, oops, we put in one electron, second electron, third electron. Three arrows, just like you had three hogs. For seven, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Eleven electrons. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. I'm going to do one more. So on Thursday, we have 15. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Okay, this should be enough examples. You have the rest to do, which include Friday, Saturday, 
and Sunday. And once you've mastered this part, you're going to go on and do the next part. Okay. Good luck. Live long and prosper.